Hello friends, today we are going to learn the topic taxonomy of virtualization in which we are going to learn about how virtualization has evolved, what are its characteristics and what are the things where virtualization works. Taxonomy of virtualization, what does that mean? A taxonomy model has been made that provides an overview of the different types of virtualization technology. Now this taxonomy here means that a taxonomy model has been constructed that provides an overview of the virtualization technologies that were identified in the analysis phase. There are different ways and modeling languages so that we can design these taxonomies in virtualization. However, a well-known standardized modeling is with the unified modeling language or we could say the UML. It offers a standardized way of visualizing objects and provides notification to describe the different virtualization technologies and their relationships. It became apparent that virtualization technologies can be part of the same group of technologies. Like these groups were called domains. See, there are different domains which contains same group of things. So here, same group of technologies were in small groups and these groups known as domains. According to the first part of the analysis, there are five main domains in which virtualization technologies can be categorized. The first one here is the server. The second one is the application, desktop, storage and network. The new two types of virtualization technologies were introduced. They are management and security tools. They are comprised of a set of virtualization technologies that provide some form of management or security measures and must not be confused with other aspects of management and security such as making of policies and their executions. When we look at the relations of the management class, the security class and the five domain classes, both management and security classes are associated with the five domain classes. That means the five domains which we have studied before, that is server, application, desktop, operating system, network, all these include and then they are related to this management and security tool classes. For example, management technologies can have a relation with all domains as each domain can be managed. That means either the network domain, it can also be managed, the server domain can be managed, the application domain can be managed, desktop, operating system, everything can be managed. Thus, it is related to all the five domains. The same goes for security where virtualization security technologies can be used to provide security for each domain. When we translate this relationship to the UML when we have this taxonomy model, so it can be visualized as follows. This is management, it manages this domain. Now, domain, what are there? So, this is server, application, desktop, storage and network. Now, these all include and form this one domain which is connected with management as well as security. All objects in the above figure are classes of which domain is a super class of that five domain classes that is server, application, desktop, storage and network. A super class inherits the identical functionality of another class which is in this case our domain type. 
This super class domain is put in between the classes to make the taxonomy model orderly. Without the super class domain, a line must be drawn from each domain to both the management class and the security tools class resulting in a web of lines between the classes. The bold arrow below the superclass domain indicates the hierarchical relation of the classes with the superclass domain. The classes management and security both have a one-way relationship or association with the superclass domain and is indicated by small arrows. Both arrows are labeled with one word and a multiplicity value indicator to describe their association. This was a brief description of the diagram which we have seen of the taxonomy of virtualization. Now, the association for management means that the class management manages one or more domains. The same applies for the security class, which means that security is related to one or more domains. In other words, the above diagram that states virtualization technologies for both management and security can be applied to one or more virtualization domain. So now here in the taxonomy of virtualization, we have been reading that it has domains or it has a domain which contains five classes. Then there were two other classes that is management and security. So we have described their relationship with all these domains which were seeing that or establishing that. However, each class of the taxonomy can be further divided in a set of technologies. Server. Server virtualization can be divided in three types or subclasses. First one is para virtualization, then full virtualization and operating system partitioning. Furthermore, full virtualization technologies can be divided into two more subclasses that is type 1 and type 2 hypervisors. Now, this can be discussed with the help of this diagram that is there is one main class that is server in the taxonomy which we have been continuing. Then it has three subclasses that is para virtualization, full virtualization and operating system partitioning. Now this full virtualization is again divided into its subtypes that is bare metal and hosted or we could say type 1 and type 2 hypervisors. Now coming back to the another domain that is application. So the two type of application virtualization technologies are sandbox and application streaming. It is again described in the figure that is this is one main class it is divided into two subclasses that is sandbox and application streaming. Now the next one is the desktop virtualization. Two general types of desktop virtualization here are client and server. Client desktop virtualization technologies are used to host virtual desktops or virtual machines locally on the client's computer. Server desktop virtualization can be divided into two types that is personal or shared. Shared desktops refers to desktops that are shared among users and personal desktops refers to users having their own completely isolated desktop. Personal desktop can further be divided into virtual or physical. Now, physical desktops are equipped with additional graphic processing power of graphic intensive applications. A new virtualization technology was introduced that allows a personal virtual desktop to become available offline. In the figure below, an overview of the desktop domain is depicted. That means, see, we have five domains there. That is desktop, server, application, network and operating system. 
these all domain combined and form one domain then that domain was interacted to other two domains that is other two classes or we can say that is management and security now that five domains which were there they are again subdivided into its part so the next one that is desktop domain how it is subdivided we have this one class we could say a super class as desktop now it is again divided into client and a server server is then again subdivided into two parts that is personal and shared and then personal is subdivided into three parts that is virtual offline virtual and physical storage virtualization Storage virtualization as the pooling of data from multiple storage devices. Example of storage devices are storage attached network and network attached storage that is SAN and NAS. While storage virtualization can be used in different or a combination of storage devices, storage virtualization can be broken up into two general classes that is block virtualization and file virtualization. So this domain is again subdivided into two subclasses you could say that is block and file network virtualization now network virtualization was characterized by three types of technologies they are virtual lan virtual ip and virtual private network so here you can see this is our first domain which is subdivided further into three types that is vlan vpn and vip management the class management consists of a set of technologies which can be used for management purposes. However, management technologies for virtualization are still young and immature technologies. In near future, more and management technologies with more features are expected. There are currently five types of management technologies for virtualization. They are performance, configure, asset, capacity, and cost control. That is performance management, configuration management, asset management, capacity management, and cost control management are there or are provided for the virtualization. Now here we have this class and its subtype or we could say we have this domain and its subtypes they are performance, configuration, asset, capacity and cost control. The next is the security which comes in virtualization. So security technologies that are developed specifically for virtualization. There are two types of security tools for virtualization. First one is virtual security appliances and hypervisor appliance. Now security since it is divided into two subdomains that is virtual appliance and hypervisor appliance. Now what taxonomy is? The taxonomy model that is constructed presents an overview of all different types of virtualization technologies. In taxonomy model can be used for different purposes. That means this taxonomy of virtualized environment can be used for different purposes. First of all, it can be used to show what kind of virtualization technologies exist. Secondly, the taxonomy model can be used to point out trends and in which domain new types of technologies are expected. The taxonomy model can be the starting point in these discussions. See, here, complete taxonomy of virtualization is present. First thing is the superclass domain. It is subdivided into further domains. They are five in numbers that is server, application, desktop, storage and network. Then again this server number one we had here it is subdivided into different classes. They are para, full and operating system virtualization. Now this full virtualization is again subdivided into two types that is bare metal and hosted. Now coming to the 
type two. This application domain here it is again subdivided into sandbox and streaming that is application and streaming then desktop it is subdivided into client and server then this server is again subdivided into personal and shared now personal is again subdivided into three parts that is virtual offline virtual and physical coming back to the four type 4 is again divided into two types or two subclasses subdomains they are file and block coming back to the fifth one that is network it is subdivided into three types further that is vlan vpn and vip now all these combine and form this super class this is your domain which is interacted to the management and security security class or security virtualization here is again divided into two parts that is virtual appliance and hypervisor appliance and management has its tools so these all combine and form a complete taxonomy of virtualization which is provided thank you